Let's take a look at some examples to try and illustrate this idea of soul active ingredient. Suppose, for starters, we have pure unused acetone. Is there a soul active ingredient here? Well, if you see the word pure, it's the only ingredient in the formulation, so yeah, this is a soul active ingredient. In our second example, we have unused acetone solvent, unused xylene solvent, and some orange scent that makes up our product. Is there a sole active ingredient here? Well, in this case, we have acetone and xylene that both do the same function of the product. So no, this is a product that has two active ingredients and therefore couldn't be P or U listed. In our third example, we have a blend of unused acetone and blue dye that are mixed together. There's only one ingredient in this formula that acts as a solvent. That's the acetone. So yes, this would be a sole active ingredient. If it was a waste, it would be a U-listed waste. In our last example, we have pure 137 trimethyl xanthine. Once again, you see the word pure, so we know that there is a sole active ingredient. But the question now is, what's your next step? You've identified a sole active ingredient. Well, you have to go look at the P list and the U list to see if that particular chemical shows up in either of the tables. Don't forget, the chemical abstract number may be necessary to find out if it's there or not. Oh, and by the way, 137-trimethylxanthine is caffeine. So the next time you have your cup of coffee, Get a little nervous.